Hi, students. So we're finishing up um, manganese 54. And boy, it looks a lot like cesium 137, but careful, it absolutely is not. So this data file is safe for you. And so I'll take it off the detector then. And lastly, what we'll do is our good old americium 241 that was taken from a smoke detector. So we'll stop this spectra, clear it, and get going on americium 241. And you'll see why we uh, like Amorism 241. So look at the spectra here. There's absolutely nothing to be seen in all these high energy areas right here. Remember the cobalt 60 had strong peaks wave here. Look at the Amorism 241, very low energy gamma ray emitter, something like 60 keV or so, way down there. So it gives you a nice calibration point at those lower channel numbers, doesn't it? And what this peak here is actually quite complex. Not sure if you want to get into that one or not. So this will be the Am the Amersham 241 spectrum. Just let that run for a bit. And that'll do it then for all the gamma ray sources that we have. So there won't be another video on this data collection at all. And I think you're ready to do your experiment. The last data file we'll run then is a really long cesium-137 one. And that'll be the one that you'll uh, do a bunch of calibration and analysis on. But that's it then for taking gamma ray spectrum. Hope you liked and appreciated everything that goes on here. We cycle through a bunch of different sources. You saw a, different, a lot of spectrum come in, different spectra come in, and there you go. So you can find the data files that you need. Uh, it'll be titled, file name will be the title of the source with a dot dat, and you can go ahead and get working on those. So, okay.